very good morning how are you all hope you guys are doing well uh, today we will start uh, the course fluid mechanics lecture number 71 okay this is uh, can you see and the last lecture we have already discussed about cotti flow uh, in the in the today's class we will see the uh, the flow power loss in case of cotti's flow okay uh, let me start before starting the class uh, let me introduce myself i am shivanand tonpe i have completed b mechanical in 2002 and i have around 20 years of experience in the manufacturing field and uh, i am taking lectures since last 6 months okay this is my uh, whatever the gate related, related subjects of mechanical engineering those guys are helpful this but this course which right now going on that is subject i mean to say that is fluid mechanics is helpful for mechanical is uh, civil engineering students as well as those who are get experience of uh, xc from chemical branch also this some part is helpful but see the pipe flow is not helpful for chemical students okay so those guys from uh, civil background uh, and mechanical background and xc of get get experience can watch this lectures okay and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button also okay thank you guys share with your friends also okay let me we will start the class now okay good uh, yeah now we will start first what see up till now what we have discussed right the average velocity right we have discussed about what the average velocity we have calculated average velocity average velocity is equal to that is v bar is equal to that is discharge upon the area this thing we have known right means what the v is v average is h square right 12 mu minus uh, or dp by dx this thing we have discussed right and we also calculate the v max upon v max upon v bar is equal to 3 by 2 okay see the v max can you guys imagine how this equation comes v max by v average v max means where is the v max in case of cotti flow it's at the center line right uh, near the wall it's zero so the v max is there and if you talk about the average velocity then the v bar is two times okay and v max is three times that thing this is telling okay now see uh, uh the actual velocity what the actual velocity is that is u right u is actual velocity actual velocity is the view right uh, from i uh, see uh, how you will get this uh, see the, by in, uh, the q is equal to integration of uda right from this we will get the average velocity right this is what the average velocity average velocity okay see now from actual velocity to go to the average velocity we have to consider some correction factors like momentum and kinetic energy correction factor that thing we need to consider uh, now we will see that what is that see the momentum correction factor let me here momentum momentum correction momentum correction factor and the symbol for this is uh, beta okay for the momentum correction factor see how the beta is defined see the beta is equal to momentum per second based on actual velocity right momentum per second based on actual velocity actual velocity and divide by you have to divide by then the momentum based on momentum per second based on average velocity average velocity clear i think you guys have crystal clear clear up till now what i taught you okay now see the beta that is the momentum correction factor is m dot i can write m dot u actual to the 
एक्चुअल टू द एम डॉट यू सॉरी एम डॉट यू बार राइट इट इज इट इज एवरेज राइट इट्स नॉट एक्चुअल इट्स एवरेज वेलोसिटी नाउ इफ दिस इज एवरेज ओके नाउ द एम डॉट एम डॉट यू राइट एक्चुअल इज इक्वल टू बीटा टाइम्स दिस एवरेज राइट एम डॉट यू एवरेज okay see uh, uh, see if the uniform velocity is there then case then actual velocity and average velocity are same right uh, and that that value is for uniform velocity if the velocity is uniform right velocity uniform means see this is what the uniform velocity but it doesn't occur uniform velocity because in case of pi flow uh, there is uh, and the velocity because of the friction right the wall friction between pipe and this fluid there is a loss and it will comes parabolic okay and but for uniform velocity case for uniform uniform velocity this beta value is 1 beta is 1 means v actual and v average are same right means see the uh, now see the beta is a function of this beta that is a momentum correction factor is function of velocity profile velocity profile right okay now the beta is always greater than or equal to 1 right this is what the beta okay now we'll see once you now we'll see the kinetic energy correction factor okay this is what the momentum correction factor now we'll see kinetic energy correction factor kinetic kinetic energy correction factor see uh, the symbol for this i'll denote it as by alpha okay what alpha indicates alpha kinetic energy correction factor is kinetic energy per second based on actual velocity based on actual velocity to the kinetic energy per second based on average velocity average velocity okay see Uh, if I see what I will get, that is half m dot u square. This is what the actual to the half m dot u bar square, and this is average base load. Okay, alpha. So I can write this alpha. Alpha is equal to. Uh, uh, let me. Sorry, this is alpha, right? Alpha average. and i can further write this half m dot u average square right whenever you calculate the average you have to one correction factor you have to add with the actual okay m dot v square this is actual okay and also the alpha is like momentum correction factor the kinetic energy correction factor is also okay this is let me just wait uh, this let me undo this okay yes this is what the kinetic energy correction factor okay now we'll see the head loss due to friction now we're ready to see head loss due to friction head loss due to friction weight loss due to friction ha pratik aawaz ho pratik ha weight loss due to friction right you know the kamira aawaz okay let me take a figure so that we will understand head loss due to friction right i think there is a figure here uh, where is that let me check i think yes i think these are the figures where are those figures i am not uh, yes these are the figure right okay okay yes see now uh, this suppose this is a plate right 
This is a Okay, this is uh, the flow between these two plates and both plates are fixed up. Right, this both plates are fixed up. And the height between this is H, right? This height is H. And this is the center line. Okay, if I add two sections, suppose this is section number one and this is if I consider between two sections and I apply the Bernoulli's equation between two sections, the point one and point two, what I will get? See, let me apply the Bernoulli's equation. Okay, head loss due to friction. I will apply the Bernoulli's equation here. Applying applying modified Bernoulli's equation I have to apply, right? Because I have considering the head loss. Modified Bernoulli's equation. Okay, between between 1 and 2. What I will get? That is P1 by rho g plus here I will take the kinetic energy correction factor, right? Bar u bar square, right? By 2g Okay, plus Z1 which is equal to P2 by rho g, right, plus kinetic energy correction factor and U2 square by 2g, plus Z2 and plus HL, okay. See here the level is same, so I can cancel out this Z and this Z, right. Uh, this is what the, not it's true, it's a head loss, it is HL, right, and you know, at point 1 and 2 that is average velocity is same point 1 and point 2 right and z1 is also equal to z2 so i can write hl is equal to that is a head loss is difference in the pressure that is pressure 1 minus pressure 2 divided by rho g right this is what delta p divided by rho g clear any doubt up till now this is what the head loss formula for the head loss okay let me Yes, I will put it in a bracket. Okay, in a box, not a bracket. Okay, yes. Uh, this is what the head loss, right? Uh, delta by rho g. Okay, yeah. Now, see what the average velocity is. That is u bar. This thing we have calculated is u bar is equal to h square divided by 12 mu, right? Minus dou p by dou x. Okay, means u bar is equal to h square minus uh, 12 mu, right? I can write here minus del p by uh, this length that is L, I can write, right? You know, we have calculated the head by head loss. What is the head loss HL we have calculated? HL is equal to 12 from this I am writing this, right? HL is equal to 12 mu mu u bar L, right? Since since HL is equal to 12 H divided by H square rho g, right? From this I am writing this. Okay, now I can calculate the delta P, that is the pressure difference, right? It is 12 mu u bar L divided by h square okay means see that the head loss that is that is do pure rho, do, do rho g right this if i divide by this rho g and this value i will divide by rho g mu v bar l divided by rho g h square see the rho g what this indicates this is what just now we have calculated that is this is the head loss right hl which is equal to 12 mu u bar l by h square rho g right this is what i have written here okay this is what the head loss right see this what this quantity indicates just now we have calculated right this is what the head loss right now you have to keep remember this formula this formula is very important okay this formula you have to keep 
remember okay uh, now <coughs> now see here uh, here what what i get that is hl is directly proportional to the coefficient c hl is directly proportional to coefficient of viscosity also hl that is head loss is directly proportional to length okay as c as the coefficient of viscosity decreases the head loss is increases and also if the length of the pipe is large then also there is a more head loss right and this h is head loss is inversely proportional to this h square okay and this three point you have to keep in remember so this the three, for this is for constant constant u bar okay now see uh, q bar q what the q is see the, the next thing once you find out this average velocity the next thing is very easy right what the q bar is q average velocity into area right see what see here how can i can write from this the u velocity u bar is equal to right q upon h into 1 if the width into the paper that is one i can write it's one right so from this i will get the hl is equal to 12 mu q l divided by h cube rho g okay any doubts up till now uh, here see i will put the value of okay right you understood this how we, this comes in terms of a q i am able to write also see here one more thing you have to notice that the hl that is the head loss is inversely proportional to this h cube okay see uh, head loss is directly proportional to length right uh, if you write the head head loss in terms of the velocity right then it is uh, inversely proportional to square of h and if you write it in terms of discharge then it will be inversely proportional to the cubic of this height between the two plates okay guys now you understand this head loss see once you calculate the head loss the next thing you have to calculate the power loss okay we will see what the power loss due to friction power loss due to friction what the power loss that is a pl is equal to hl right head loss into rho qh right uh, no rho qg sorry rho qg let me write it correctly otherwise you will be getting hl into rho qg right this is a power loss now i'll put in h term in hl that is the 12 mu u bar l right divided by h square rho g okay and here rho q g okay see the rho g and rho g cancel out here then finally you will get the expression the power loss is equal to 12 mu u bar l divided by l q right l q divided by h square I think up till now everything is clear, right? No doubt. This is what the power loss due to friction. Okay. It in terms of a Q. Right? See one more thing you can write here. What you know U bar is Q upon H, right? You can replace this U bar again here Q. Okay. Then you will get the power loss is equal to 12 mu in place of ul write q means it will get q square l upon h cube okay this formula also sometimes ask the average velocity is not given but if the discharge and the length and viscosity is given right and height between the two plates then you can easily calculate the power loss okay guys then this is what about the law power loss this is what all about this power loss uh, due to friction in case of body flow okay what we will do with this we will stop for the today's class in the next class we will start the body flow uh, not body flow body flow is over right in the next class we will start the pipe flow okay please don't miss the upcoming lectures right this pipe flow is very important
pipe flow and this pipe flow is not included in the syllabus of civil i think uh, civil engineer or chemical engineer i think civil engineer the pipe flow is there but chemical engineering students uh, can stop to watch these lectures up to now okay uh, whatever the st i have studied earlier the lectures you can watch okay up to 70 up to 71 lecture you can watch okay the next lecture will be 72 of a pipe flow okay this is the next lecture next lecture don't miss the classes okay and thanks for watching thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel hit the like button share with your friends okay they will also get the benefit okay guys with this we'll stop for the today's class and thanks bye